Hi guys. You know, sometimes in science we describe things according to properties and, and properties are when you describe things according to their color, their shape, their texture, their size. Like a property of me is I'm, I'm extremely beautiful and handsome, right? Okay, maybe not, but check this out. Here I have two sheets of paper, right? Now if you look at them, they're exactly the same. Same color, same shape, put them together, same size, hold them side by side. They're exactly the same weight. But now I'm gonna change a property just on one of them. I'm gonna take this piece of paper and I'm gonna crumble it as hard as I can. I'm just gonna squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it and make a very, very, very tight ball of paper. Now, if you look at these two sheets of paper, okay, and I asked you a question, I guarantee you're all gonna get this question wrong. Which one weighs more? Is it A or is it B? Now, most of you are gonna say it's B. And actually, they're exactly the same. All I did was change its shape. I didn't change its weight. Think about it. If you weigh 50 pounds and you put your hands in the air, you still weigh 50 pounds. If you're jumping into a pool of water and you turn your body up really tight and you're doing a cannonball, you put all of that weight into a small space, but you still weigh 50 pounds. The weight didn't change, I changed the shape. Now, I have a cool little fun story I like doing with these papers. Let's, I, I'm a little weird, but let's just pretend that these papers talked and these papers lived in paper town. And all of a sudden you have this big guy walking and he's like, and you got this small little guy walking, he's like, Hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Why don't you move out of my way? Do you know who you're talking to? Yes, yeah, someone very big. What? And very ugly. Now, of course, these papers get into this huge conflict, and then they get into this competition. They're going to have a race, so they climb on top of a mountain. The loser has to leave town, and the, the race is this. This guy thinks because he's bigger, he's going to hit the floor faster. So they climb on top of the mountain, okay? Now remember, the loser, okay, has to leave town. Now let me ask you a question. If I drop these two sheets of paper at exactly the same spot, I'm changing nothing, I'm not forcing them, I'm just going to let them go, and the only thing that's different is its shape. They're the same exact thing, and I let it go. Which one is going to hit the floor first, A or B? Make a prediction. And now let's see. Three, two, one. Was your prediction right? I think it was. The ball of paper did hit the ground first. Now, does anybody know why? Well, you see, this large sheet of paper, it was really unfair. Think about it. Underneath this large sheet of paper is what? There's air. The ball of paper had just a little bit of air underneath it to move out of the way. This large sheet of paper, as he was falling, was moving through the air like doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo, where the ball of paper had just a little bit of air to move and it kind of was like woohoo, super fast. Now think about it, okay? That's what air resistance is. It's resist the air is resisting, there's resistance. So this paper has to move all of the air out of the way and the bigger the surface, the more the air, the more resistance, the slower it falls. Now as you saw, the large sheet of paper did move really slow. The ball of paper did move rather quickly. And you guys can do this experiment at home. Try really big sheets of paper, try really small sheets of paper, and ultimately you're gonna realize that the object that moves super slow through the air is the object that is extremely air resistant. And the object that moves extremely fast through the air is the object that's not air resistant. So now you know a little bit about air resistance.